This boy has witnessed the Big Bang billions of years ago. He has been a long neck dinosaur, a soaring eagle, and even an erupting volcano. He has existed since the beginning of the universe, and every memory of each cycle has always followed him. In his most recent reincarnation, he was an elephant that died under the cruel slaughter of humans. He tried his best to survive in every life, but without exception, he was always killed by humans. He was in too much pain and gradually became numb to life. Perhaps it was fate that this time he was reborn as the species he hated the most humans. Lee Jane. This is the first name he has ever had in his countless reincarnations. He does not understand the complexity of human nature and did not speak until he was six years old. Doctors found nothing wrong with his body, which worried his mother, a war widow who lost everything, including her husband, in the brutal war. Lee Jane is her only redemption in the world, and his mother always tries her best to give him warmth, constantly smiling and saying I love you to her unresponsive son. Although Lee Jane does not understand what she is saying, he feels the warmth that comes with it and does not dislike it. At this moment, Lee Jane noticed three criminals running away, and the leader saw a child standing on a pillar and ordered him to come down. Lee Jane then effortlessly leaped down and scathed, using the memory of a frog. Before the enemies could react, he also used the ability of a cheetah, with his whole body emitting a blue light. His feet wrapped in lightning, and in a flash, he rushed towards the enemy, striking them with a powerful punch known as the Argentine Dragon Punch, which condensed the brute force of a dinosaur and knocked the enemy's teeth out. Lee Jane not only possesses memories of all reincarnations, but he can also exhibit all the abilities of the life forms he has experienced at any time, and these are just the tip of the iceberg of his many reincarnations. At this moment, Lee Jane feels that this life is the reincarnation endpoint that he has been pursuing. The enemy is surprised by this and cannot tolerate a little kid doing such things. The enemy then roars and launches an attack. His powerful punch hits the boy's head, but the enemy's arm is shattered due to the strong backlash. It's because the boy activated the ability of a turtle. Then he shouts out Gorilla and grabs the man's neck with his bare hands. This was supposed to be a fair fight, but then gunshots rang out bullets passed through and hit the boy. His small body couldn't take it and he fell down, barely alive. Is his favorite reincarnation endpoint really going to end? Although he falls down from the gunshot, he is not dead. His animal instincts drive him to use the ability of a sea cucumber, and the damaged organs are rapidly healing. It turns out that he is not a human but a soul that existed before the dinosaur era. After experiencing countless reincarnations, he can use the abilities of all animals. He wants to die, but he can't. However, he now has a weakness in this life, which is his mother. At this point, the boy's mother to discovers that her son is missing and is searching for him anxiously. Her cries pierce through the entire town and are heard by the boy. The boy doesn't care and instead looks at the little bird next to him and puts it in his mouth. He feels that it's time to leave the humans he hates and fend for himself. Every day thereafter, he relies on hunting for survival just like in his past life. He won't spare a little bird, a rabbit, or even a venomous snake, but as the first time he has transformed into a human, he doesn't understand the mechanisms of the human body. He got sick soon after. When he was on his last breath, his mother found him and quickly took him in her arms. The sunset, accompanied by tears, seemed especially beautiful. Since that day, his mother was afraid that her son, Lee Jane, would get lost again and always held his hand wherever they went. She scolded the classmates who bullied Lee Jane and didn't allow neighbors to mock her son for being intellectually disabled. His mother tried her best to show her love to her son. Lee Jane, who was used to the ups and downs of the world, slowly felt the warmth in this reincarnation. The mother and son depended on each other for six years until the boy turned 12 and knew all the rules of human society. However, his mother's health had deteriorated and she was bedridden at home. Lee Jane followed his mother's example and set up a stall at the market. Suddenly, a customer appeared, the same thug who witnessed Jane using his superpowers six years ago. Unlike before, the thug used his means to transform himself from a gangster to a police chief and found Lee Jane to take revenge for that night. Jane appeared to be indifferent because he didn't need to use his powers to deal with these scumbags. The thug knew this, smiled wickedly, and mentioned Lee Jane's sick mother, warning his subordinates to stay away from the boy or else they would die. A familiar blue light burst out of Jane's body, and he easily tore his sleeves and shattered the ground with his overwhelming strength. Then, at a speed too fast for the human eye to see, he ran towards his home. He leaped and arrived in front of his enemies. Inside the house, his mother heard the commotion and came out tremblingly. Upon seeing the scene, she instinctively sought help from her neighbors, but the cold-hearted humans seemed unwilling to lend a hand. Mom's action angered the enemy. Then, the enemy slapped Mom in the face. Mom, who was already weak, couldn't withstand the blow and fell heavily to the ground. Seeing this scene, the only bit of reason left in Jane's heart was shattered. In just a moment, Jane's hands were covered in blood. The once arrogant enemies were now cold corpses. Mom couldn't believe what she was seeing. At that moment, the criminals arrived in a car, just as they had hoped. This would give them reason to execute the monster on the spot. However, Mom, who was so weak that she couldn't even eat, suddenly stood up like a madwoman. She took all the blame and said that she had killed everyone on the ground, all to protect her son. Watching this scene, Jane finally understood the warmth he had felt from this human female over the years was a mother's love, something he could never experience 
in his countless reincarnations over billions of years. The pain accumulated over billions of years surged out at this moment, and tears flowed from his eyes uncontrollably. But the criminal had a disdainful expression and raised his gun to shoot at Jane's mother. With a gunshot, Jane had somehow appeared in front of his mother and blocked the bullet, showing anger on his face that he had never displayed before. The criminal and his men opened fire, and the bullet swept in like a storm. Jane had been developing his abilities for six years, and he used his pandolin ability to deflect all the bullets, but it seemed like this was his limit. Another round of attacks, and he would be done for. The criminal didn't give him a chance to catch his breath, and ordered his men to fire again. Lee Jane gathered his strength, wanting to use his powers to defend himself again, but suddenly Mom appeared in front of him, taking all the bullets for him. Jane stood frozen in place, watching the woman who had just fallen say her first words. He cried out for his mother uncontrollably. As his mother was dying, she reached out to wipe away the tears from Jane's face. Later, she saw her son continually apologizing in a scrolling marquee and comforted Jane, saying that having him as her son was the greatest happiness in the world. She then made Jane promise her one thing. A blue light surrounded Jane, and an unprecedented and dazzling killing intent intimidated the criminals. Her final wish was for Jane to live well, no matter what happened. It was easy for him to survive, but some people had to die. The boy was surrounded by tanks and countless special forces, his mouth bleeding and his face covered in scars. However, the armed personnel lying on the ground were even more miserable, with corpses strewn everywhere. This made the remaining special forces very nervous, but Jane's expression remained unchanged, even revealing a contempt for life in his eyes. He seemed extremely disappointed in humanity, as if humanity had taken away the most important thing in his countless reincarnations. Thousands of well-equipped special forces surrounded him, and the fighter jets in the sky locked down air superiority. Although Jane was invincible, his current situation was difficult to escape. The soldiers thought they had the upper hand, but Jane's face still showed no concern. He then apologized lightly, and the commander gave the order to unleash a powerful firepower towards Jane. But Jane still remained unmoved, like an unyielding 10,000-foot iceberg. Then, he transformed into a ferocious dragon, lifting his right foot and unleashing a powerful kick that broke through the air and made a deafening noise as it struck the ground. The resulting shockwave caused the earth to shatter, and the ground army was instantly annihilated. The far-off stone shield blocked all of the army's attacks. Compared to a few years ago, Jane witnessed his mother's death before his own eyes, but now his abilities have skyrocketed to the realm of gods. Although the eternal cycle has given him a powerful strength that does not belong to humans, it has also worn down his emotions over billions of years. Originally hating humans to the bone, he met an angel in this cycle of life, who happened to be Lee Jane's mother in her first human reincarnation. Although his mother was ignorant and shallow and lost everything in this cruel world, she chose to respond with song and work hard to live, pouring out all her love for Jane. Gradually, Jane started to have a different view of humans, or more accurately, of his mother. Although she stood up for her son, Jane didn't care and just coldly studied human behavior as a sample. In Jane's mind, he could only understand this woman's hatred for everyone but herself. Even though his mother seemed to be fighting against everything in the world every day, boy Jane witnessed his mother take bullet for him and fall in a pool of blood, his body radiating a chill and killing intent, paralyzing the enemy in front of him. Jane didn't understand why humans were so obsessed with themselves. Although there can be many reasons, it all comes down to one thing, pride. Humans thought they knew everything in the world and often became complacent, but they also felt afraid of those they could not understand and wanted to eradicate them to show human superiority. At this moment, Jane realized one thing, he could not coexist with humans. He stood before his mother's body, holding back his tears and suppressing his anger, fulfilling the promise he made with her to keep living no matter what happened. The thugs saw their opportunity to catch Jane, knowing he was weak at this moment, and chased after him. Jane disappeared like a gazelle, only to reappear in a field of flowers where the thugs caught up to him. The lead thug was excited to finally eradicate this monster after waiting six years. He taunted Jane, calling him a freak who could only run away like a dog, but Jane remained indifferent. He refused to fight, saying it would hurt his mother's heart, who hated him fighting. Jane wiped away his tears, and with a solemn expression, like a funeral procession, emitted a faint white light. The once arrogant thug was now frozen with fear, unable to even breathe as he watched the monster speak to himself and apologize to the people he had killed before. Jane's mother's sacrifice made him realize that everyone is loved just like him. Although I must have made mistakes myself, humans are even more cruel. They have been killing and destroying unconsciously, ruining everything. At this moment, Jane finally reached the end of this eternal cycle of reincarnation and solved the problem that had been troubling him since birth. Why did he keep being reborn? Why did he have this power? Then, lightning burst and lightning surrounded Jane's whole body. The erupting flames shook the ground, and the answer to the problem became clear. He existed to destroy humans. The villain felt that things were not good and turned around to escape, but before he could react, Jane had already flown into the air like an eagle. The enemies on the ground were just waiting to be slaughtered. Jane flew into the air and smashed into the ground like a thunderbolt. The powerful impact directly blew the nearby vehicles several meters high. As daisies scattered everywhere, Jane walked out of the giant pit.
pit with an expressionless face, and all the enemies in front of him were killed. Only the villain was left struggling to survive, but he was unable to move under the pressure of the boulder. He still insisted that chasing Jane was the right thing to do, and although Jane remained cold, he also gave a rare response. He acknowledged the villain's words, saying that monsters like him should be killed by humans. But now the plan had failed, and the price of failure was that he would slaughter all the humans in the world. At night, under the moonlight, a little boy was holding his mother's body, standing in the flower field with a lifeless face. He held his mother and walked aimlessly for a while, perhaps because he was too tired. The boy seemed to faintly hear his mother saying I love you. This sentence, which Jane had heard tens of thousands of times, also gave the first answer. 